get to oh, no. that. Sal, Sal might have an aneurysm if I do that. In a couple of days, you may get to that. His family says he lost his life over a pair of shoes. Now safety concerns are growing after a teenager was shot and killed walking home from school. You know, Elijah. Black Panther Party will touch this story with a 10-foot pole. Reese was shot and killed as he was walking home from East English Village Prep last week. His murder is sparking anger and outrage in the community. It's also raising some major concerns. I see the Black Panther Party bitching about some white girl at some white school, mixed school, with the N-word on her arm. If I don't see the Black Panther protesting at this fucking school, I don't hear about outrage in the community. Because we know what it looks like when this community is outraged about something. Press one. From East English Village Prep last week. His murder is sparking anger and outrage in the community. It's also raising some major concerns about neighborhood safety. Sean Lay joins us now live on the story. And Sean, do police believe he was a random target in this case? Truly a random target. Karen, I want to hit on a couple of things you said. Anger and outrage plus heartbreak. Let's add those together. That's what the mother, everyone should be feeling that across Metro Detroit right now because you should be allowed to wear what you want to wear to school and you should be able to walk home safely from school. But this was not the case. And you saw random target may have been for the young man's shoes. Elijah Reese was walking home from school East English prep when he was shot three times and killed. It was four in the afternoon last Wednesday, a shooting that should shake up every person in Metro Detroit. <laughs> And at a vigil oh, for Elijah Monday night, we learned a too, new man. clue from Elijah's mother about why anyone would target the fun-loving 16-year-old. Or did y'all want his $1,200 shoes he had on the seat? Well, Because that's geez. what I'm thinking. Y'all wanted his, what was the name of them shoes? Valencia. Alexander McQueen's that y'all didn't even get. Senseless. Y'all killed my baby for nothing. Teens. She don't sound she, like she just lost her son. I know. No, that's, she's, he's it's crazy because son's like he's where he's a homo and you know nothing against him, but it's just the status for t some tennis shoes. Who's a homo? Alexander McQueen. He was. Oh, oh. Yeah, sons sons act like they care about that that gay shit until it come to designer hey. shit. Then it's like yeah, we don't we don't give a fuck. Fascination with the clothing is unbelievable. Like a magpie. Does it look like anybody here should be wearing twelve hundred dollar tennis shoes? <sighs> Finance, exactly. Financial literacy. <laughs> this community, you probably have. I mean, this is Detroit, Metro Detroit. So not probably. You definitely have these people. Begging white people for everything they need, mm. all their needs. Well, for out the wazoo, so that they can buy twelve hundred dollars shoes and shit. Jesus, wow! All the shoes he had on the seat, because that's what I'm thinking, y'all. Year old, or did y'all want his twelve hundred dollars shoes he had on the seat? Because that's what I'm thinking, y'all wanted his. What was the name of them shoes? Alexander, Alexander McQueen's that y'all didn't even get. Senseless. Y'all killed my baby for nothing. Teens were shot and killed for their Air Jordan sneakers years back. This time, Elijah worked a job, and his mom says he bought a pair of $1,200 shoes. They are from the late designer Alexander McQueen. And that shoe looks like a um... Sam Smith's. K Swiss. K -Swiss. K -Swiss. It looks like K Swiss Reebok, like an old Reebok. With some like, um, rhinestones on the back. They look like some Stan Smiths to me. They are. Whatever they look yeah. like. They're, they're, these look like shoes that you should be able to get for 25 bucks at Payless Shoe Source. Adidas should be suing them. They probably cost it's, it's, $5 to make. Definitely five dollars to make. If that, if it costs five dollars to make these, exactly. 
and this guy selling them for twelve hundred dollars to black people in the ghetto. And then another Sun team will kill you in broad daylight for this. Murder you in broad daylight for this. And not even get them. Or just uh, because don't of be the too fact hard. They can't help it. And they all well know it. You know, the first conclusion is, oh, shit, it must have been the shoes. Oh, yeah. They don't. And, and listen... I was expecting a little more, man. Like for twelve hundred bucks, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I was expecting a little bit more than this, man. <laughs> Shit, they should be walking you. I'm telling you, man. Like, are you serious? I bought cars from the auction for for way less than twelve hundred dollars, and right, drove right. them just for years. But in the in the sun mine, it's about peacocking, right? So it almost doesn't matter what the shoe looks like. It's the price that matters, exactly. right? Exactly, exactly. Status. Exactly. exactly. The 1954 Negro. We already did that video. 1954 Negro. Um, where they talked about sons always mm. brands. They 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 shop by brand. They don't shop by quality. They shop Back by brand. Back when the media kept it a buck. Yeah. I think yeah. it's something biological. Negroes are very prideful, and and therefore you should apply uh, appeal to that sense of pride when trying to sell them cheap, useless merchandise. It's got it's got to be something in DNA, because like a billionaire juice crew will wear like a pair of New Balance. It's definitely DNA. It's definitely, definitely genetics. DNA. Definitely. Definitely. Well, I have seen when I used to do security, I did see juice Hasidics used to come ten deep at the Ferragamo outlet and they'll sneak in and do the old switcheroo. So we're not saying that no one in the planet ever doesn't wear good stuff. We're saying that black people who are the poorest by yes. far wear expensive stuff. Really, really expensive stuff. Their whole your your whole being is your tennis shoes. Your whole being is your jacket, your jeans. That's your character. Your character is your clothes in Blackistan. Yes, there are other people who buy expensive stuff. No doubt. Yeah. But blacks are way different above. Go ahead. I'll admit, I will pay more money if I know it's made in the United States. That's the extent of it. Mm. For real, for real. I don't even think about that. Like, I never be like, yo, is this made me? I never think about that. Man. Well, <laughs> no. well, it matters a bit. It matters a bit to me because I, because I'm in the man, I'm in the manufacturing business, and so I make things that are made in the United States. So I like to basically just like to support what's made here. So, right, so, right. Me, me, you'll get a. Quality shirt like American American Heritage and stuff like that. Yeah, or even boots. I mean, Chippewas used to make great boots. They, you know, they were made in the United States, but you can't. They, the ones I like to I like to buy from them, they stopped making them. So I gotta I gotta move on somewhere else. Yeah, I like those red wing boots. Oh yeah, they're good too. Wow, um, deep man. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, yeah, this is it. It's just weird, man. I I know. I it's just from jackets to it's it's sad. Change. And I mean, I see the prom. It's even worse. Prada, this everything. It's just it's unbelievable. Hey, yeah, hang on, real, real quick. And I and I know my man heard about this about the chick who spent um. What was it? I think it was like, I think it was like twenty grand on a setup for her daughter's prom here in Philly, in the hood. Like she, she had them build this a castle and a lot. Oh no! I'm talking about the hood. That's definitely some nigga shit. What the fuck is going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that wasn't me. Yeah. All right, let me go on. And they look like this. I think people should be allowed to wear whatever they want, but the challenge is that there are other people who just want to take it from them. Local for crime. It's really just one group of people. Darnell Blackburn. It's just right, exactly. Like, it's like, like. Honestly, it's, everybody it's, does wear what they want. It's only one group of people that want to take it from you. Come on, stop this shit, man. Stop this bullshit. Alexander McQueen, and they look like this. I think people should be allowed to wear whatever they want, but the challenge is that there are other people who just want to take it from them. Local for crime and safety expert, Darnell Blackburn. It's just challenging because there are so many other people who just want what you have, and they may be envious of you. You, you never know what the circumstances are. They may need money, or they may just want to take something from you because they don't have it. Who could that be described? on an absolute tragedy why those shots were fired at this young man and what he was targeted for. What could I asked his mom, what could he have in his pockets that were going through his pockets? And uh, she said, nothing, $5 maybe, but those shoes may be something uh, that attracted the young gunman to Elijah. That is definitely a, something, Detroit, please tell me they're investigating with this case, Karen. Any suspects in this case? It's a huge question here. What we're hearing there on the street where it happened, that police are working hard and possibly making up an identification of a person as we speak. They're not releasing any identification right now, but we feel like they are close, but they're not going to tip their cards on this until there is an arrest. And so far, no arrests have been made. All right. Thanks for the latest. We appreciate it, Sean. Wow. Wow. I don't think they're going to need to tip the cards. We can probably guess the hand that they've got.